Hey guys, so let's get started on our next collection of the video. This one is going to be highlights and bronzers. These are my two favorite face products for sure. I absolutely love bronzers and I absolutely love, love, love highlighters. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off with a highlighter palette and this is by e.l.f. This one here is an okay palette. Um, I actually am not as impressed with this. I thought I would really, really like it because I love the e.l.f. Um, blush palette, but the highlighters in this are just okay. Um, if you want a more subtle highlighter, then this would be great for you, but for me, I like one that's like J.Lo, ba-bam, and this is not it at all. Um, but for subtle, it's okay, but it's just not what I like. I like a more very intense highlight, and this is not it at all. Then moving on to the other highlighters that I have, I have some highlighters by Becca. This is the Champagne Pop highlighter um, that they did with Jaclyn Hill. I love this gold highlight. It is absolutely beautiful on the cheeks and it is very intense, very gold, very beautiful. It's so different than any other highlight that I have and I absolutely love the color and the way that it sits on the cheeks. Um, it doesn't make your pores look more intense. It's just very, very beautiful. Then, of course, I have the Becca Pearl Highlight. This one is the Pressed Highlight. Um, and I also have the Highlight in Rose Gold that is pressed by Becca as well. I love both of these highlights. They are both very, very creamy. I like using them um, underneath another highlight to kind of set that to make it even more intense and to help make it last longer. So I love both of these highlights by themselves and to help kind of use as a highlight primer. Then my other holy grail highlight is, of course, the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I love this highlight. I can apply it all over my face and be absolutely happy with it. I love it to apply it as an inner corner highlight as well. This highlight is just absolutely gorgeous. Use it for any type of makeup, any type of glam or natural or any type of highlight whatsoever this product is my go-to. I absolutely love it and it's not that expensive either. Then I also have this pink highlight by Vintage and I received this in an MC bag so it is kind of just a small sample size but I really like this highlight for summer because of its pink color. Um, it's a very simple and easy to apply as well and it's also very pretty for that simple pop of color as well. Then I have this Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics um, highlight. This is something I would apply, like, with mix in with my foundation, kind of um, like I would my MAC Strobe Cream, um, which is in my primers video. I should have included it in this, but that's okay. Um, this is an all over glow luminizing gel. You can also kind of dab this on um, as a highlight, like that. Um, I've used it both ways, and I really, really like this. Um, it also smells like kind of like a cappuccino, so that's a plus. It smells really good, and I got this in a BoxyCharm, actually, and I've really been impressed with this product. I also got this in a BoxyCharm. Um, this is a double-ended. Um, it is also a blush and highlight product. This is your blush here, and you just kind of dab it on like so. And then this is your highlight here. It is a darker highlight, so it would be very pretty for summer. Um, but it is also great for, it actually worked for my skin tone in the winter as well. Um, I actually really like both colors of this product. And it is Beauty For Real. Um, and it is in High Beam and Coral Crush. I really liked this product just because it's also great for travel because you have two in one. Then I have this e.l.f. product. Um, I don't like this by itself, but I like applying it underneath another highlight um, to kind of make it pop and last longer as well. And then last but not least, I have this Fairy Dust by Pixie. Um, I don't know, I don't use this as often. I don't ever really grab for it. I do like this. Um, it's just kind of an odd way to use it. And I think that's why I never really grab for it, just because it's kind of on this little applicator here. Um, and I just find it really odd to use. But I do like this product. And it's also kind of an odd color for my skin tone. I actually like kind of to use it more as an eyeshadow than as a highlight, just because it's so dark. Um, and I'm so pale most of the time, except for in the summer. And I have my two bronzing, or my contour kits, which I'll use with my bronzers. Um, I have this one by NYX, 
and this is in the light. Um, this is their cream contour. Um, I really do like this palette. Um, I don't go for it as often as I do my Anastasia contour kit and the powder kit um, just because I tend to like the powder better than I like cream contour. Um, I bought this palette though to try out cream and um, for NYX I think they really outdid themselves. It's a great product. It really blends well um, and I don't have any issues with it. I just prefer powder over cream. And then here is the Anastasia Contour Kit, and this is in the, I don't see the one. This is the first one they came out with, though. I don't see, like, a shade on it, um, but I have used it multiple times. I love the banana powder in it, and then this is usually my go-to shade here. But I have used all of the shades in this kit, and they are absolutely amazing. This is definitely my go-to contour kit. Then my number one favorite bronzer at this moment is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Not only is it an amazing bronzer, but it smells amazing. It smells like pina coladas, and this is in the shade Light Bronzer. I do think they have some other shades. Um, at the first time when they came out, this is all I could find, and it's what I needed for my skin tone at this time. Um, so it's all I really looked for, but I absolutely love this bronzer. It is my go-to right now. My, I guess you could say it's my holy grail at this moment in time. It's all I ever use every single day. I use it almost as a contour, as a bronzer. I put it all over my face. I love this stuff. It is so creamy, so blendable. It's absolutely amazing and I use it for everything. My other favorite bronzer for the summer, this is way too dark for me in the winter, is the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. Um, this bronzer definitely lasts um, quite a long time. I think it is supposed to be like they're 12 hours, the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer, so it's supposed to last a while because it's waterproof. Um, I definitely like this bronzer um, pretty well. I definitely used it a lot last summer just because of the it is waterproof and everything like that and how dark it is. It's the perfect color for me in the summer, um, but in the winter I didn't use it at all because it's way too dark. Um, it is very pigmented, so only use a little bit on your brush, that is for sure. Then I have my... Um, Palladio Baked Bronzer. I really liked this bronzer. It's a very um, shimmery, so it is definitely one I would use in the summer when I want to be very glowy. Um, it is definitely one I would not use to contour with um, because it's not it is so glowy and shimmery. It's definitely one that is a full on only bronzer. Then my other favorite one that you can only bronze with, which I've hit pan on, um, and I got last summer, so that tells you how much I've used it, um, is my e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer. I love this bronzer. Actually, I'm wearing it now. If you can see, the light is very bright in here, so I look pretty pale even though I have a bronzer on. Um, but I love this bronzer. I think it's like $3. Um, it's another e.l.f. product that I have, and it's absolutely amazing. It's very pretty and just very glowy. Then I have these e.l.f. Baked Bronzers, which actually I'm going to throw them away because I do not like them at all. Um, the one came, actually, it's broken. Um, I actually don't like any of the e.l.f. Baked products. They're blushes. I've had a couple and I've thrown them away too. Um, just because they're so like hard that I can't get anything to come off on my brush. Maybe I'm using the wrong type of brush. I don't know, but I've tried several different kinds. I just am not been impressed with them. I don't like them, so I'm actually going to get rid of these. But I hope you guys have enjoyed another one of my collection videos. Um, I think I'm just going to end it here with the face products for now. I have so many eyeshadows and everything like that. It would literally be such a long video. But let me know if you would like to see that, um, even though it would be really long. And maybe I will think about doing that. But I hope you guys enjoyed these. Let me know if you did in the comments down below on some of these videos. And let me know if you would like to see the eyes or maybe some lip products. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Bye-bye.